My name is Brett Blankenship. I started farming in 1982 uh, when I finished college. I'm one of the man managing partners in Blankenship Farms, in farming with my wife and I and my, my brother and his family. Our primary crop is soft white winter wheat. I've been president of the Washington Association of Wheat Growers. Now I'm going through the leadership offices of the National Association. I'm currently second vice president. Wheat's grown in 42 states. On average, 55 million acres a year of wheat are grown in America. There are several hundred varieties of wheat and six classes of wheat. Washington growers have embraced uh, various aspects of conservation farming, of no-till type farming, uh, controlling of highly erodible lands, and cleaning the air. We have a very proud record and we have a great story to tell. Northwest farmers have embraced research largely through our land-grant universities. The industry supports all kinds of research, biotech being one of them. We're just at the frontier of the promise of what biotech can bring. Potential benefits of biotech would be a healthier wheat product, less impact to the environment, better soil conservation, perhaps perennial wheat. Farmers have always been very good about embracing new technology and advancements. And the industry is very positive toward more research on biotechnology. So we want the most scientific advancement we can get to get the most out of the resources out here. The industry supports the promise of what biotech can bring to the world. It helps us feed the ever-increasing population in the world. This is about people starving and going hungry. There is no GMO wheat commercially grown in the United States and no farmer will grow it until USDA and FDA guarantee its safety. We don't lose sight of the fact that we are growing food and we want a quality, healthy product. We feed the world. We feed the rest of America. We feed the poorest among us. And we are very proud of that fact. <laughs>